finally getting some motivation. It's tough. Keep walking out here. Yeah, I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. No, I'll wait. Oh, wait. Don't feel like it now. Tough sometimes, but we'll get there eventually. Get this old rotten thing off. It's uh it's called Daily Driver, New England. Good news is the uh, radiator support looks uh, pretty clean for the most part. The mounts look good and everything. Of course, the uh, battery tray was always an issue over there, so can finally uh, put an end to that. Rotten inner fenders. Not sure. I might uh might just clean it up and I had thoughts of just running it with no inner fenders. Be easier to uh work on, see the engine more. Uh, now I I get to this point and it's like, well should I just take off this whole whole radiator support, whole nose. Take it right off of there. Needs a radiator anyway. Always had a slow leak. Put some sealer in there years ago. I don't know. Once I get uh, all the rotten stuff off. See if I can get a power washer or at least uh, get it uh, on a nice day. Pull it out and blast it, clean it all up so I can paint all this nice and make it all nice and pretty again. Sold, uh, that was that factory cruise control. Vacuum operated. Of course, uh, got rid of the quadrajet years ago. Once it uh, gave me some troubles one day, threw it in the swamp. So, uh, but that didn't work anyway. Guess it uh, probably was cool at one time, but it's probably why my speedometer stopped working. So I probably have to get a um, new cable that just comes right up and doesn't have that interruption there. You can see the cruise button right there. Wonder if someone might want that. Well, seven years ago, we uh, pulled this in the shop, and we mixed up uh, a gallon of Rust-Oleum, smoke gray, and uh, we poured it in a uh, big bucket, and then we started adding some uh, semi-gloss black to it to make it darker and darker. People say you gotta pay thousands for a paint job, but uh, see if I can put a picture in 
in the video to show you, remind you what it looked like when we painted it. It was uh, it was a surprise to us. We uh, I did a little prep work, you know. There there was uh, there was no rust like that on there at all. A um, couple little you know tiny little spots here and there that I just uh, you know sand it out and like right here that was just a tiny little rust spot seven years ago so we just wiped it down and uh, me and my old friend Nan took a uh, $15 uh, Harbor Freight spray gun and uh, we just kept walking around it, passing it off, spraying coats. And uh, I was just looking for a solid color. I figured it'd come out, you know, like a flat, flat finish. But um, to our surprise, it came out shiny. It was a real shiny paint job. There's the. Uh, color it was underneath yeah we were real surprised everyone was like getting a kick out of it and uh, we sprayed so much paint on it it took a long time to dry in fact months after it was sitting out in my driveway on a hot day when the sun was out you could still smell it still baking on but uh not looking so good these days but um seven years ago looked pretty good kept on trying to put it away for the winter and uh other vehicles i had who were messing with me let me down so i always had to pull out old reliable Drove it to work many, many, many mornings on the highway with all the other cars. Rusted. There you go. I just took a little bit of this uh, McGuire's light compound, just hit this. Look at that. You could buff this thing, come right back. Rust oleum from Lowe's. A little bit of hardener mixed in. Some acetone. Don't let anyone tell you you can't paint your uh, vehicle yourself. Seven years in New England winters and paint's still on there. Just the other day, sitting out, nice green grass, having a fire. Next thing you know, it's 20 degrees, and we got some white stuff. Comes quick. Lee was not prepared for winter. He must hunt and gather or 
He does not survive. Saturday night, sitting up in Maine, in my garage, cold beer, wood stove going, working on a 78 Suburban, finally got it inside, some dreams. Get repaired? Maybe. Thanks for watching. And, uh, have a nice weekend.